Greetings fellow Time Lords and Companions! Today we're diving into the depths of time and space with a classic that's been ageing like a fine Gallifreyan wine or maybe like fish fingers and custard. Yes, we're taking a nostalgic trip back to a time when pixels were as big as a Dalek's ego and graphics well, let's just say they were more cardboard TARDIS than Time Vortex Spectacle. But fear not, dear viewers! Despite the blocky aliens and dialogue that feels like it's been trapped in a time loop, we're here to embark on an adventure so epic even the sonic screwdriver might need a reboot. So grab your sonic screwdrivers, your fezzes and your bow ties and let's see if we can save the universe. Or at least avoid getting stuck in a Cyberman's recycle bin. Alonzi! I just think it's going to be great. It's a really And it looks really amazing quality, yeah. and it's free on the website. Of the dock and Amy, it's amazing. Very yeah, exciting. It's so weird seeing yourself. And they've captured it so well. Mm. Um, our faces and everything and all of our mannerisms. Well. You're a bit prettier in the game. <laughs> oh, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I, I think, actually, they've been a bit generous to Matt. Probably. He's got a bit of a structured jaw. Which, <laughs> which isn't really there. Let's not go there yet. OK. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin. I'm a geek. You're watching Kevin the Geek. And yes, today I am doing a Doctor Who video game playthrough. Um, I'm doing uh, the first episode today of this. And this is going to be... Maybe nostalgic for some of you, it may be completely new to some others. Now, if you weren't already aware, back in 2010, around the time of the fifth series of Doctor Who, there was a free game that was developed and released on the Doctor Who website for people within the UK, and it was available to purchase for people outside of the UK on Steam. A number of years ago, afterwards, it just basically got removed, it got... Well, it got lost to the depths of time, shall we say. But recently, I've managed to find it. And it, it was mostly because when I did my review of the... Of the... Which was it? Of the Angels two-part story from Series 5. And I was looking at the Doctor Who confidential behind-the-scenes footage. They actually mentioned that and showed some of the behind-the-scenes stuff of this game. Which I found interesting. But also a little bit nostalgic because I really wanted to play this game when it came out. But unfortunately, my only PC that I had at the time, it was basically incapable of running the game. And so I never really got to play it apart from a few jittery uh, bugs that came from it. So... When I managed to find a link to it online, which I am going to put in the video description as well. So if you guys would like to play this yourselves, you can download it and play it for yourselves. I just got very excited. Um, now, just a quick uh, disclaimer. I have already downloaded it. I did play through like the first 30 seconds or so just to see and make sure that it did indeed run. That was the most important thing for me. Um, but beyond that, I've not played... Uh, any of it. Now, when it was originally released, there were four stories and they were designed to be kind of a companion to the main series and feel like they were like episodes 14, 15, 16, 17 of the series to kind of give a bit of a added uh, depth to it. How good they are, how long they are, I have no idea. But there were four episodes and we're doing the first one today, which is called City of the Daleks. So let's check it out. The Doctor, in a new dimension. No, impossible. You take control in Doctor Who The Adventure Games. Run. Do, do, do. Oh my god, look at them graphics. I mean, I mean, that, that says a lot for you, doesn't it? So, I am playing, of course, as Kevin the Geek. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be uh, keeping this audio bit on the, on the track. I don't know if I'm going to mute it or not. Because, I, obviously, I don't want to get, I don't want to get copyright striked. 
So there may be, uh, at this point, there may be some alternative music to avoid copyright reasons. We will obviously see it at, um, at that point with it. But yes, this is Doctor Who The Adventure Games. Um, like, they did actually scan uh, the faces of Matt Smith, of, um, of Karen Gillan, and they do voice the characters of them in, in there. And they do have other um, things in it as well. So, you can see that there are four stories. So, Episode 1, City of the Daleks. Episode 2, Blood of the Cybermen. Episode 3, TARDIS. And Episode 4, Shadows of the Vashta Narada. Which, of course, were the aliens from the first episode introducing River Song in the library two-parter. So, uh, like I said, technically, I have played the start of it. But we're jumping straight in with it here. Episode 1, City of the Daleks. I do remember when I played this, or at least attempted to play it, all these years ago, that the loading screens were incredibly lengthy. Like I said, it was probably my PC at the time. I don't necessarily have you know, the most amazing spec computer at the moment. It's, I mean, it's good enough to do video editing and stuff. Um, so we're going to see. We're going to see. And this may be... I'll stop talking. Hang on. 1963. Such a good year. That's uh, the year you bought that outfit, then. You know, we can go to see the Beatles play in 1963, but the Ice Age is only a click away on the dial. Can I meet John Lennon? What? Not Ringo? Why doesn't anybody ever want to meet Ringo? There's no such thing as a sexy drummer. You know, I never considered that. Then again, why would I? 1963. Beatles' first two albums, Sean Connery as James Bond, The Kings, The Rolling Stones, Doctor Who, Quant, John Steed and Kathy Gale. All right now, out there, London is the coolest place, not just on Earth, but the whole galaxy. No. Impossible. Oh! Did you get this wrong? Maybe this is like... 2963 or something. I wonder if Murray Gold did the music for this There's as no well. There's no mistake, this is 1963. But how? What or, or who could have done this? Something with the power to alter time. On a massive scale. Doctor, look. Human Hall! Hey! Exterminate! The last! Survivor of Earth will be exterminated! Exterminate! Dee, dee. Oh my god, they even recreated the title sequence in the video game format. They didn't just reuse like the, the one for the show, they actually recreated it. Oh! I don't even think I managed to get this far in the first original game through. It was that chattery. Exterminate! Nice! We've got to talk to her. Here we go. Right, we're now into the, the gameplay bit itself. Uh, like I said, I, I basically stopped pretty much around there by this point just to make sure that uh, the game ran. Because um, I didn't want to do this video if, if the game wouldn't, uh, wouldn't actually run. Um, so, first of all, um, yeah, the audio quality is not great, is it? <laughs> the, the graphics is not great. But hey, this is 2010. I, for a free game... That was completely free at the time. I, 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 I'm still down for it. I really am. So you can look and move, uh, right mouse move to forward, or uh, press up and down and, and so on with uh, the stuff. So the only thing that we... Oh, when you get close to something of interest, it will glow. An icon will then appear, indicating what you can do. Click the left mouse button to interact. So... Time-wise, the only thing that I... Oh, sorry, tutorials keep popping up. 
If you get stuck, don't worry, press escape to see what you need to do next. Talk to Amy, who may be able to help. She may have several hints, so do try talking to her again. Don't forget, other characters and even objects can provide useful information. Okay. Yeah, so time-wise, this... The only thing we know, this would have been set uh, after the Victory of the Daleks episode, because obviously we have these Paradigm Daleks, which if you um, if you miss my review of that episode, please do go and check that out. <clears throat> Let's see what Amy's got to say for herself. That woman escaped down a manhole. We need to find her. Perhaps we can smash the barrier and get to the underground. Thank you, Amy. Perhaps that taxi could smash through the barrier. Hmm. That woman escaped down a manhole. We need to find her. Perhaps we can smash right, the barrier so we've got, and get to the I've got a couple of lines of dialogue there, kind of going going uh, going forward there. There's no time to waste. We have to find that woman. Okay, let's have a look then. Oh, yeah. I mean, like I said, for. Oh, collectibles. You can pick up collectibles as you explore the game. Keep your eye out for them. Collectibles provide you with extra information on the Doctor Who universe. Press return to view all the collectibles you've discovered so far. You found a card. Smiler! Uh, from the Beast Below episode. Go back and check my review of that one. You found a fact. London Bus. The Red Double Decker Bus is an iconic symbol of London. The first London bus started carrying passengers in 1829 and was pulled by three horses. Buses with motors didn't arrive until 1902. Ooh. I guess what they're trying to do with this game is to be a little bit uh, intellectual as uh, as Doctor Who was as, uh, as a TV show in its original intention. You found a fact! World fact, Hackney Carriages are the licensed public taxi cabs of London. The very first carriages started operating in London in 1621. Wow. You found the card, The Sisters of the Water. I I've literally just recorded my review of The Vampires of Venice. And uh, I don't know when this video is coming out, so this may be before or after that episode. But either way, check out my, my reviews. Okay. So, let's try this taxi. Can we push it? I don't like the way this taxi is balanced. Wrong room moving and come crashing onto us. I thought she said we need to push it. Ah, oh, do we need to go in here? Right, I think we've got to push it from the other side, which may mean having to get through the defences of the Daleks. Stop! Look out for that Dalek. Maybe we can avoid it if we're careful. Mm -hmm. Oh, stealth. It's sneaky, sneaky time. You will automatically crouch down when enemies are near. Warning icons will show whether you are safe or if the enemy has detected you. Avoid colored enemy beams or you will be attacked. If you are detected, run and hide. Okay. Oh, they're moving. Quick. Hide, hide, hide. Right, let's just see where they're going. Perhaps that taxi could smash through the barrier. Yeah, I know, Amy. Alright, wait for it to move. And then we can go. We're gonna run. Right, run! Run, Doctor! Run! Well, sneaky run, kind of. Sneaky run. I saw another collectible thingy over here. What we got this time? Oh, the sick Doctor! He was the second Doctor to be put on trial by the Time Lords and the only Doctor who managed to fix the TARDIS's chameleon circuit. Nice. Is there anything down there? Can we... Can we fall? Ah... Uh, see, they're, they're blocked here. We can't even accidentally fall. This looks like it could smash through that barrier. Does it? Can you give me a hand? Sure. One, two, three! <laughs> da, 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 da. Well, not exactly elegant, but it did the job. It did. It's dark down there. When I said I wanted to meet the Beatles, I meant the band, not the Bucks. Well, you can stay up here and meet the Daleks. But they're more heavy metal. Oh my god! This is so cheesy! Wouldn't the Daleks have heard? Like... 
Surely the taxi smashing through that barricade made a lot of noise and that, that would have brought them over there. Alright. Anything up here? The Daleks won't be far behind. We've got to find that woman. Okay. We need to open the platform gate somehow. Do we, Amy? Thank you for telling me that. Doesn't your Sonic open any lock? Hmm. <laughs> we need to open the platform gate somehow. Doesn't your Sonic open any lock? Hmm. <laughs> I wonder how 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 long I could uh, annoy Amy by just. We need to open it. the platform gate somehow. Doesn't your Sonic open any lock? We need to open the platform gate somehow. Doesn't your Sonic open any lock? Would she eventually get annoyed with me if I just keep going on? Aha! Inventory! You can pick up some items and use them on objects that are glowing. To use an item, open your inventory by clicking the middle... Ma the middle... Bleh, can't even speak. Middle mouse button or pressing space. Well, I don't have a middle mouse button, so I've got to use the space bar. Okay. Aha! Sonic screwdriver emits a sonic pulse that... To control mechanisms, heat items, and power technology. I realise I'm probably not going incredibly fast right now. Be careful down here. You never know what you're going to find on the underground. Rats, dinosaurs, yetis. Daleks? The woman we saw must be around here somewhere. Don't move! Ah, there you are. Hello. Calm down, we're here to help you. How Calm down, we're here to you? help you. Do we look like Daleks? Us humans have to stick together. I'm the doctor, by the way. And I'm Amy. Sylvia. Tell me what happened. When did the Daleks get here? What do you mean? How can't you know? They overrun the Earth, the whole planet. We've sort of been away. Promise you, Sylvia, we can help you. Just tell us, please. They came out of the sky, like like they tore a hole in it. Oh, the cracks. Legions of Daleks flying oh, out of why. it. So many, they turned the sky dark. Oh, they're going with the proper music for the show. Thousands and thousands of them! Thousands! Exterminate! Well, I should ask a question. Ooh, interesting. How did you survive or other survivors? I mean, they're both pretty the same, aren't they? And there are no other survivors. Us against the Daleks. They destroyed everything. Everyone. There's just me left. How do you know that? The last human being. That's what the Dalek said. Well, it was wrong about that, wasn't it? There's you two. How did you survive? The Daleks defeated the army straight away, but the ordinary people fought for a while. You learn fast when you have to. You've done pretty well on your own, one woman army. Yeah, and especially in 60s go go boots and a nice dress. I mean, really? Is that. Is that the kind of outfit you would consider wearing to fight the Daleks when literally there is no other, or no other, human on the planet? Mm. The Daleks can't do this. They've never had the power to change time like this before. Change time? What are you talking about? Look, I'm barely hanging on to my sanity as it is. Listen to me, Sylvia. This was not supposed to have happened. 1963 was followed by 1964, and a whole lot more years after that. I have to stop whatever the Daleks have done to make this happen. Look, it isn't safe to stay here. If you want to stay alive now, you have to keep on the move. Let me check ahead. These tunnels are dangerous. What was that? Uh-oh! Hello, babe. I think it just got even more dangerous. Yeah, kind of. You think? Sylvia is safe. The Daleks can't see her, but we're going to have to be very careful if we're going to get to her. Oh, uh, yes. Don't forget that Amy is following and she needs to be kept safe too. If, you, if you're behind an enemy, don't get too close or they will hear you. If you're detected, all static guards will be alerted, although they won't leave their posts. Okay. Right, so I have to go around that way. Ooh. Is he coming back? We're sneaky. Whoop. 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 
we get there? Can we get there? Get in, get in. Run, 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 run. Ooh. Yes. Nicely done, Doctor. We need to catch up with Sylvia. Yeah, okay, Amy. That was pretty easy. Oh, oh, collectible thingy. You found a card, Liz 10. It's very clear this is Series 5 heavy, isn't it? <laughs> it's almost, almost like an additional promotion for Series series 10, uh, Series 5. I think we're okay. Stop! The track is electrified. Then we need to reroute the power somehow and fast. Okay. Do we need to use a Sonic? Oh, bad idea. Oh, sorry. This is going to take some manual rewiring. Ah. Rewire fuse box. Wires must be positioned to connect two terminals of the same color. Wires cannot cross. Move the mouse pointer over a colored terminal and the pointer will turn to a small hand. Press and hold the left mouse button to drag out a wire. You must then connect the terminal to another of a matching color. To disconnect a wire, click on its endpoint and let go. Okay, right, what do we got here? Which, which, as it is. Ah. All right, got it. Right, so it's a little puzzle. So, um, that's right, so a blue. This has got to get down to here, basically. But if I do it like this, you can see that this can't go past. So if I, there we go, right. Let's think this out logically. Um, all right, so green to green. Let's try that. Um, um, right. So. Blue one looks like that's not right. Um, start this again. All right, let's start with these two over here. So this one has. So if I did that way, can I get? No, I can't get that. Hang on, let's try. Oh. Well, that does that. Uh, uh. Oh, it's a little tricky. Um, the blue is the one I'm trying to think the most of at the moment. See, so I can't go around that way. Oh. Hmm. 
See, at the moment, I'm struggling to think how I can get... Do this surely by like going round. Ah. Okay, okay, I might crack it. Yes, yes. Yay! The fuse box has been rewired. The power has been diverted away from the tracks, which are now safe to walk on. Get in. Now it's safe. We better get a move on before that Dalek spots us. I just want to check over here. Is there anything? Oh, there's a fact. The London Underground. The London Underground was the first underground railway system in the world when it opened in 1863 with a line that ran between Paddington and Farringdon. The first trains to use the line were steam trains which made the tunnels and platforms filled with smoke. It must have been very unpleasant. Several original stations are no longer in use. Oldwich Station, which was closed in 1994, is often seen as a location in films and on TV. Okay, there's no more uh, collectibles there, no? Okay, let's go. Let's see, anything down here? Nope. Dynamite! Sylvia must be settling a booby trap. Hurry, Doctor. The exit is just there. Oh, we have to climb it. Okay. Up you go, Amy. I just need to set this trap. Hurry! Sylvia! Exterminate! Run, Doctor, run! Exterminate! No! no! Oh my god, did you hear his voice? That was so bad. But no! They killed her. We've got to get back to the Daleks. They killed her. The Daleks have changed their patrols. We need to try and sneak round them. Okay. Are they patrolling or... Doesn't look like it. So it's like, how can they not see us from this far away? Right, okay, this is where it gets a little bit hard. Let's have a look. Just looking at the patterns. May just be that you just kind of have to go for it. Can we get through? Whoop! Ooh, we're right on the edge. Don't strand, Amy. Ah! Uh. Right, go, 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 go! Hide. Oh no! No, run, Doctor! No! <laughs> <coughs> Well, Amy's dead. No river song. Alright, let's try that again. I thought I was doing really well. Alright, it was Amy. Amy was way too slow. Let's just... Creepy creep, creepy creep, creepy creep, creepy creep. Look at their legs just falling through the floor. You see them right down there at the bottom. Uh, getting a little bit too close to the beam.
I mean, just, just look at how they're going through the floor. We're sneaky. We're sneaky. Need to know, right, about there. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Right. So we might make it now. How can it not hear us? Let's go. We can do it. We can do it. Yes! We only died once. Doctor. Amy? <coughs> it's alright, Amy. You're going to be alright. I felt so weird. It's going to be alright, Amy. I promise you, if I can analyse the time and place that the Daleks altered the timeline. I don't get it. If humanity's destroyed in 1963, how am I still here? The TARDIS protects you, but we have to act quickly. Gotcha. What is it? The source of the Daleks' time meddling, it's Scaro. Not Scaro! The planet of the Daleks. Coordinates set, we're going back to where it all began. And we're going to save the human race. Nice! Okay, so that was the, that was the first level, I guess. I don't know if we're, you know, 5% in, 50% in, 100% in, I don't know. Oh, wow. <gasps> it's alright. Nobody home. And they've been busy rebuilding this place, too. Yeah. Rebuilding? Kalan. City of the Daleks. The last time I saw it, it was in ruins and the Daleks had fled. But now Kalan is reborn. Yeah, well, I'm still not coming here from holidays. <laughs> Don't blame you. It never stops raining, so I wouldn't go outside. Even with an umbrella. <laughs> the atmosphere is 30% sulfuric acid. Nice. Ugh. No wonder they're so screwed up. Come on. Screwed we have to up. find the source of the Daleks' time manipulation and stop them. Da 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 da. Aha! This should contain an internal sensor. It could be useful if I can find a way of accessing it. Maybe. Oh, what a run! The internal sensor is protected by the Dalek circuitry. Damn it! Click on the sensor, drag it through the maze. Be careful to ensure it does not touch the electrified walls. Release the mouse button at any time to drop the sensor. Oh, okay. Okay, right, let's let's just figure out where I've got to go. Okay. Right. Close hand control here. Here we go. Whoa. Yeah, a bit jerky. Gently does it. Just have to keep adjusting my mouse. Uh. Oh, this is tense! Oh, oh, that got close. That's getting close! We can do it. I need like a proper mouse, mat. I haven't actually got one at all. Nearly there! Da 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 da! The Dalek internal sensor has been successfully removed. It is now in your inventory. Low security doors will now automatically open. Nice. <coughs> I don't feel right. Steady. Doctor. Whoa. Sorry, Amy. I'm so sorry. <sighs> what is happening to me? Time is catching up with you. What? When the Daleks destroyed humanity in 1963, you became a paradox. You shouldn't exist, but you do because the TARDIS protected you. But that protection can only last for so long. Uh -huh. That's why we have to find how the Daleks went back in time and put things right. 
for all of humanity and to save you. Gotcha. There'll be Daleks everywhere. It doesn't matter. I'll find a way. But first, I have to slow down what's happening to you. The Daleks have temporal technology. I can use that. Nice. We need to build a chronon blocker from Dalek spare parts. That will counter the effect of the paradox. We have to find a Dalekanium coil and a Contron crystal. Uh, like you're talking English? A uh, what, what, what? Hmm. That's Don't how worry. I talk. You rest here and I'll find them and bring them back. Ah, at least I don't have to worry about Amy this time. She was the one who got killed, not me. Alright, anything around here I can use. I need to... You need to check these things. Oh! Didn't you say it was just around the corner or something? Thank you, Amy. Didn't you say it was just around the corner or something? Didn't you say it was just around the corner or something? I guess so. Find out. Oh, there's... Oh. Is it this way or is it another way? Let's try the other one. Just to be on the safe side, we've got to check both sides. Ah, the visualizer room, the production facility must be the other way. Damn it! I went in the wrong one. Have a look out the window. You found a fact! Acid rain! When power stations burn coal, sulfur dioxide is produced which rises into the atmosphere. Sulfur dioxide then reacts with water in the clouds to create sulfuric acid which causes acid rain. Okay. Well, there you go. We're learning as we're playing, and you know me, I love facts. Anything from this one? Nope. What was in here? Anything? Ah, the main lift. I need to stay on this level and find the components for the chronon blocker. Okay. Let's go get killed by the Daleks, I guess. That wall could offer some cover. Aha. Ah, here we go. Oh! He's moving around. Whoa. <laughs> I love how um, oblivious they are in this. Alright, so you're gonna turn back round, I guess. Come on. There we go. So if I run, 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 and hide behind this wall. We good? We good? Yep, we're good. Okay. Keep looking. Keep looking for things. We like things. We like shiny things. Our control panel, it's not a good idea to stop production. Damn it! Have a look. Narrow escape. Oh, I'll take my time. Do we can we go down this way? Oh, there's another one. I don't know if that's the place we should be actually going or not. It's not very clear. Let's try, yeah, let's let's have a look in there, just in case there is anything. Narrow escape. Oh. That's interesting. I wonder where it leads. <laughs> Gotta push things. I like pushing things. Ah, I guess we have to get up there and climb up there. Well, we'll do that in a second. Let's have a look. Oh, walk into walls, why don't you? Oh, there's a shiny thing. There's a shiny thing. You found a card. Adipose. Ha <laughs> ha. 
It is my shiny thing. Right, can we actually go in there? Aha. Uh -huh. So we have to push it further along. Are we gonna jump? Hey! Imagine if I get turned into a Dalek. Oh, shiny thing! K9! Was originally designed and built by Professor Marius, a friend of the Fourth Doctor. When the Professor couldn't take K9 back to Earth because of weight restrictions, he became the Doctor's faithful dog. Oh, what was that? A Contron crystal, just what I need. I've just realised I need to plug my uh, phone in for charging, otherwise we may lose footage, and I don't want that. I don't want that. Lots of research files in here. Looks like they're just ruthless administration as they are at killing. Bad idea. Damn it. Um, no. Uh, no. Okay. You found a fact! The Daleks! The red Daleks are drones or workers and are led by the white supreme Dalek. The blue Daleks are in charge of strategy. The orange Daleks are scientists. The purpose of the mysterious yellow eternal Dalek is as yet unknown. I think it will remain that way because I don't think the paradigm Daleks are ever coming back. But I, I, I thought they were kind of cool, personally. Right, so I guess I've got to climb back out of here. Oh, or um, maybe I Sonic it. Yes! Is that it? I could have done that from the other side. Same be climbing up and around. Right, so I take my time. Right, so I do have to continue on back this way, it seems. So let's go to this corner. And then we'll be going, I think, to the right, it looks like, there. Yeah. Gently does it. Go, 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 Doctor, go! I'm guessing I can't go down there. That looks like a stationary one. Oh! Anything behind here? Oh! Oh, okay. It was right behind me all along. There we go. Anything in here? Ah, shiny thing! You found a car! Daleks! The Daleks were created by Davros, the greatest scientist on the Dalek homeworld, Skaro. They have no weaknesses except per perhaps their reliance on logic and machinery. Right, anything else? I knew I'd find a Dalekanium coil in here. The Daleks are so predictably organised. That's everything I need. Let's get back to Amy and start putting it together. Okay, so I have to go back now. So is this pretty much all the game is? Is it just kind of working your way through? Ah, I can't go this way. Then why create the room? Why didn't you just lock on the door? Um, yeah, is this all the game is? You basically go to one objective and then you make your way back again. Oh, can I go in the lift? Please say I can go in the lift. 
No! I found the components for the Chronon Rocker. I want to go back to the TARDIS and Amy. Alright. At least I can go a bit quicker coming back this time, though. Oop. No. Oh, go, Doctor, go! Whoop! No! Stay in the corner, stay in the corner, stay in the corner! So I've been going about 45 minutes at the time of speaking about this, uh, and from the quick little streams I saw online, uh, of people who've played it in the past, it looks like they took about 45 minutes, at least from what I could see. So I'm guessing I might be a little bit slower. It's okay, I like finding shiny things. Right, and but like I said, I can go a bit quicker now. If I know my route back, I know what I need to do. Just retracing my steps. Narrow escape. There we go. Doctor, please hurry. I'm fading away. Don't worry, Amy. I've got all the components I need now. Assemble the chrono blocker by moving the two components through the energy force field. Click on the components and drag them into the slots. Be careful to ensure they do not touch the electrified walls. Oh, come on. This one again. <sighs> okay. Oh, there's spinny things this time. Okay, right. Um, fuck uh, that, 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 and then I can do the same in that, or I can go round that. That looks shorter. Okay, right here we go. Put it here for a moment. Alright, that's one. Let's go again. Ooh. Oh no! I went the wrong way! I went the wrong way! Damn it! Whoop! Da, 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 da. The Chronon block has been successfully assembled. How's that? A bit better. Hm. At least I've got some colour back. See through is so not you. Oh my Our god! We've locked the Chronon energies for a while. God, it's so we cheesy have to reach the dialogue. The council chamber and deactivate whatever is in there. Okay. But how do we even find out what's in there? It could be a Dalek convention inside. Could be. I wouldn't mind going to that. We can see into it from the Dalek's visualizer room. Come on. Right. Gain access to security. Right. Which way do we go, Amy? Tell me. Give me hints. We need to get inside that visualizer room. Yeah, I know that. We need to get inside that visualizer. We need to get ins. We need to. We need to. We need. We need. We need. We need. We need to. We need. We need to get inside that visualizer room. Just tell me left or right. That's all I want to know. Right, can we do the lift this time? This won't get me to the visualizer room. Damn it! Oh, by Amy, I've left you behind. Right, can we go this way? This way this time? Aha! Ooh, it's the yellow one, the Eternal. Trying to see. Right. I right, now can see it. Right, so it's basically it's moving. So when it starts turning. We should oh, be more oh. Go! Run! Run! Get through the door! No! 
we should be more careful. God damn it. I thought I timed it. We better be cautious here. Yeah, we know that, Doctor. All right, all the way. Go, go, go. Run, Amy. Right, she's made it. Phew. We need to get inside that visualizer room. All right, I presume it's this way. Right. Here we are. Here we are, the visualizer this room. This is where they monitor and record all Dalek activity across the universe. This is like the Dalek records office. <laughs> A librarian Dalek. <laughs> That's something I actually want to see. Yeah, we should librarian. Me too. The visualizer eye. And you know what Stickler's librarians are? We need to get to the console so I can deactivate the security beam. Those databanks look like good cover. Let's go. Okay. Why don't you stay here, Amy? You'll only slow me down because you're the one who keeps getting killed. <laughs> there are three security consoles I need to, to crib. That's the first one over there. Over where? We should wait for the beam to pass across before we make a move. What, as in the one right underneath it? Need to reconfigure the control the console. Click on the Dalek symbols and to match those that are incoming. Click again to match up the rotation of the symbols. Hang on, what? Uh, hang on, what? Oh, okay, I got it. Right, right. I, I get it. I got it very quickly there. Um. Uh, I love that it gives you a little sound effect so you know when you're doing it right. Alright, that one's easy. Dun, 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 dun. I love the sound effects, they're so cheesy. The visualizer circuit system is partially reconfigured. Brilliant. The security beam is narrowed. Oh. You better be careful though. The rate of its Ooh. scan sweep has speeded up. Oh. Has speeded up. Let's go this way. Come on, Amy. Are you behind me? Yeah, you are. I'm sure that beam is faster now. Be careful. Whoa! Damn it! <laughs> that was my fault. I didn't know it was coming. I stopped for Amy, it's my fault. Right. Oh yeah, there's two beams, I forgot about that. Right, we're going all the way to the back. Come on, we can do it. We can get there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I bet the secu security system will be tougher to crack now. I bet it will. You must reconfigure all three Dalek consoles in order to override the security system. This is the second console. Click on the Dalek symbols to match those that are incoming. Click again to match up the rotation of the symbols. Okay. Uh... There we go. And da 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 da. da. <laughs> the 
Visualize so, 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 that, that kind of a speak. Visualize the security system. It's almost completely reconfigured. Just want to go now. That beam is moving pretty fast. Is it? Okay. And where have I got to go? I guess. Was it on the far side of where I was? And uh, go, 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 go. Yeah, it's over there. Keep moving, keep moving. Go on, you stupid eye thing. Right, go, go, go. Run, Amy, run. <clears throat> the question is even more complex. I need to concentrate. Okay. Uh... Oh no! Oh, that was no. Our batteries uh, and batteries again and da, 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 da. the visualizer security system has been reconfigured right let's see what we can see shall we thank you aha that's the supreme council chamber all right there's the Oh, it's blue! It is massive. And blue! Occupational hazard. You're sitting on a throne all the time, you're going to put on a few pounds. <laughs> but that is what I'm interested in. Is that it? Whatever the Daleks used to wipe out the Earth? Well, if I was a betting man, yeah. That'd be it. That's interesting. Temporal coordinates. Interesting to you, maybe, but how do we get anywhere near that thing with all those Daleks around? Knock politely. <laughs> Right, new objective, discover the source of the Dalek's power. We have to find a way to get upstairs and talk to the Dalek Emperor. Yes, we're finally going upstairs! We better be cautious oh. here. Are you there? I mean, at least it's facing away from us, so we can kind of use it a bit better to see. Okay, he's turning back. He, it, she, whatever. Whatever pronoun you want to use for the Daleks. Right, run, Amy, run. Keep to the wall. Oh! No! No! We should be more careful. Oh, there we go. Is that it? Just stay behind there for a few seconds. We need to take the lift. Yeah, I know we do. I'm trying to get through the door. Oh, don't tell me I went the wrong way. Oh, there we go. We should be safe now. Where to now? Straight to the top. The Supreme Council Chamber. There we it's go. Like it read my mind. Dalek technology. Wonderful. If only they didn't want to use it to kill everybody all the time. Hmm. Whoa! You will be taken to the Dalek Emperor! Thank you! For a stroke of luck. Just the dictator I wanted to see. Hmm. Speak for yourself. Hmm. You will come with us! By all means. Lead on. You recognize me then? I should save time. I should ask a question. <laughs> Risk from disruption, you have to stop showing the source. Show me the source! 
Show me the source of your power. The Emperor Dalek does not obey orders! Damn it! What use is power if there's no one to marvel at it? To quake with fear? Come on, show me. Scare me. Witness the might of the Daleks! Fear it! No. It can't be. What is it? Yeah, what is it? The Eye of Time. More powerful than the heart of any TARDIS, more than the power of every TARDIS ever built. Oh! Harnessed by the Time Lord centuries ago and lost at the fall of Gallifrey. Oh! Lost! The Eye is a natural phenomenon. Some That's say it's the heart of time and space itself, the very core of the Big Bang. The Time Lords contained it in a powerful iron fill, but when Gallifrey was destroyed, it vanished into the universe. The Daleks found it! It is ours! Daleks are the new Time Lords! The Time Lords use their powers to benefit the universe, not to crush it. You were weak. Soon, throughout all time and space, there will be only Daleks! No. Your time just ran out. Uh, Amy, run. Run! Exterminate! 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 Oh. Okay, I was prepared to ask more questions. Whew. Okay, I mean, we're about an hour in it. Again, I've got no idea how long we've been going for. Ooh. Are you all right? Yes. What happened? Those temporal coordinates, remember? This is Kalan, just before the Daleks returned to it with the Eye of Time. Ah. It looks like it will be coming soon. And it won't be long before the Emperor sends more Daleks after us through the Eye. We have to be ready for them. What do we do? Set a trap. Okay. Prepare a trap for the Daleks. Even though the place is in ruins, there could be something useful here. Cool. Let's have a look for more shiny things. I like shiny things. I like the shiny, shiny things. The shiny, shiny things. Can I jump over? No, I can't jump over. What about that debris and wiring on the floor? Thank you, Amy. Oh. The Dalekaniums is sitting in a pool of electric acid. If I can connect it to the generators, all I'll need is an electric charge. So where are these wires? Oh, there they are. And I want to go up here first, because there might be more shiny things. Oop. I like the idea of seeing more shiny things. We like to explore. Ooh. That's for himself. Oh. Oh, there's a shiny thing. I saw a shiny thing. What have we found? You found a card. The fifth doctor. He wore celery on his lapel, which would turn purple in the presence of harmful gases and carried a cricket ball in his pocket. His sonic screwdriver was destroyed by a ter leptil in 17th century England. Spoiler alert, please. I thank you. Alright, can I just jump down? It'd be so much useful if I can. No. Okay. It sounded a little bit like the River Song theme music there for a second. The da -na -na, da -na -na. Hurry up, Amy. Get along, side me, dear. Want to see more shiny? There's no time to explore. We must set a trap for the Daleks before they get here. Damn it! I mean, they're pretty slow if they literally just have to jump to the thing. in my pocket. Hey!
These wires should connect the debris to the generators and with a zap of the sonic, we should have our trap set. Then all we'll need is a Dalek. Or two. Or ten. Now I just need to switch it on. That's not gonna work. Damn it! Do we go through here now? Now do we go through here? There's no time to Damn explore. It. We must set a trap for the Daleks before they get here. Yeah, alright. Alright, how do I turn it on? Aha, there we go. Doctor. Uh oh. It's happening again. We've jumped time again. The chrono blocker won't work here. Just hold on, Amy. I can save you, I promise. Here they come! Bang! Nice! Stay with me, Amy. I'm... I'm okay. Come on. We have to be ready for them. Maybe the Dalek beans will go straight through her. Oh, she again? The lift won't work anymore. Let's look for another way down. Cool. Stop. Oh, that's a Varga plant over there. Oh, These lovely. vines have a deadly sting. To get past, we'll have to time it carefully. It's an Audrey too. Alright. Stay there, Amy. And and run. There we go. Alright, let's just go in the corner. Whoop! I thought she was gonna get eaten for a second there. Can we do the lift? Perhaps there's a hole in the floor somewhere. Oh, thank you, Amy. That's so helpful of you. Is this the hole you were speaking of? But first, is there more shiny things up here? Ah, uh, if there was shiny things, I can no longer get them. Oh, there's a shiny thing. This way. Get out. Come on, Doctor. You found a card the 10th Doctor. Save Queen Victoria from a werewolf and Britain from Harold the Saxon, aka the Master. As well as Rose, you travel with Mickey, Martha, Donna, and Wilfred Mott. Ah, here we are again. Alright, uh, I guess we go far down that side. Yes, you, you hear this music. Like I said, this is one that sounds like the the um, uh, the river song theme. Whoa! That was a bit too close. Oh, there's another shiny thing. See what they're doing. And go! You found a card, Amy Pond! Companion to the 11th Doctor, Amy is a feisty Scott who is always ready to do her own thing no matter what the Doctor says. But whatever happens, they're still best pals. Alright, where's the door? Oh, there it is. There we go, and run! Get through the door. Oh, I haven't got to do them again, have I? Have I got to do all three of these again? This should do the trick. Secure Kalan, prepare to activate oh. the Eye of Time. The Supreme Dalek. Who else? What are we going to do? 
We have to release the eye before the Daleks activate it, then the natural timeline will be restored. The Daleks don't crash Earth and Amy Pong gets born. Ha uh, That's great, but how are we going to get past that lot? Well, like I wouldn't have a plan. Everything we need is in here. What, here? Oh. Why can you do that earlier? Your objective, think of a plan. This is beyond repair. This is linked to the eye of every Dalek. If I can reverse engineer it, we can interfere with their vision. Oh. We just need some parts from the production facility. Of course. Oh, I think I know what's coming. Yep. Could you pop next door and rustle me up a couple of things while I get started on this gizmo? <laughs> what do you need? A cup of tea, chalky bickies? A Dalek gun and a Dalek eye stalk. I recommend looking for salvage rather than a live one. Yeah. Yeah, you're so funny. <laughs> Let me open this door for you. Ah, so now plays Amy. Why do we go down here? Oh! It didn't see me. Looks like invisibility can have its advantages. Aha! Nice! Saves a bit of time. Will the Daleks be able to see me? No, I'm not going to necessarily risk it. Oh, we're here again. Oh! Whoa! Sensors alerted! Whoa! Oh! I thought it can see me! Is it only when I flash? God damn it, I got so from here again. So I've got to time my invisibility as well as my runs. Whoop. I'm an idiot. I'm literally an idiot there. <sighs> right, here we go again. Let's try it one more time. One more time. Oh! Ah. Oh, come on, Kevin! Ugh, I literally touched it. Oh. Come on. One more time. I was literally an idiot at that bit. Right. Get behind here. And go. There we go. I'm past it. Oop. Perfect. And I still better not be too damaged. Get in there! Get in there, Amy! 
I'm going to get killed. Alright. Go down that way. I mean, it looks like there's something on top of that box, so I'm guessing I've got to go there. I'm gonna die. Exterminate. I can move. Exterminate. I got stuck. I'm an idiot. Please don't say I've got to do all that bit again. Oh, thank God for at least for that. Whoop! Get in there, Amy. So at least I can't be seen by the Daleks either. Is that it? Sensors no! No! I can't be seen! I can't be seen! I'm hit by the box! Run! That was lucky. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! Right. Do I have to do anything down that way? I don't know if, if there is anything I've got to go down that way. Or if I... But right, I'm guessing not. Whoops. Whoop. I'm, I'm sure it's got to be this way. It's got to be. Because it's got to be back to that same room that we went to before, isn't it? All right. If I'm going the long way around for nothing, I'm an idiot. There we go. No. Right, I think... Yeah, I think I'm down there. Right, I'm invisible! Go, go, go! Whoop! I'm not I'm no longer invisible. Now I'm invisible. There it is. Got it. If I miss a shiny thing though, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Wait to turn invisible and go! But don't touch it! And go! Go into here, into the corner where she can't see me. Whew. Let's go into the room. And then let's go back. Would there be anything down there? Because I'll be annoyed if there's a shiny thing. Plant is hiding me. No, it looks like there is not. Oh! I can't see. Am I hidden? Am I not? I can't see. I can't see. All right. I'm visible. And... Go! Run, Amy. Oh. Brilliant. You found Whew. both of them. Let's get to work. Only took me a few deaths. To make the vision disruptor track the three... Oh, this one again. Right, got th three. Right, so got that line, that line, and the middle one. Right, so let's not make the same mistake as I did last time.
as well. There's two. Were successfully assembled. The vision disruptor has been added to your inventory. There. This will blind the Daleks. But its range is limited. Okay. Unless I can fit it into the cradle of the old Emperor, that will take out every Dalek in the chamber. Doctor, I feel so strange. Yeah, right. I'm sorry, Amy. We're running out of time. We can do this. But it has to be now. Open the eye. It's now or never. There's too many of them, Doctor, and they'll exterminate you on sight. Give it to me. I can do this. You have to let me. Right, so I need to get up to that Dalek Emperor. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna wait till I go visible. I, I, I can't see. Am I visible or am I not visible? I'm visible. No? I, I thought we were supposed to do that. Okay. So I've just got to sneak around them then, I guess. It's, it's not very clear at times, is it? So I'm going to get upstairs. Whoops. Oh. Oh no. I'm going to die. That was a good start. Right. And go. And go, go, go! Right. Um. Right. So I can sneak round the back. Oh! Run! Damn it! Right. It's always Amy the one who gets killed. The, the doctor's infallible from being killed. Yeah, it's really hard to see when she's there and when she's not. Which I suppose is one benefit of invisibility. But makes the game a little bit harder. Hey. Right. We do sneaky sneaky. Sneaky sneaky. Are we visible? Right. We're visible. And then... Run! Run, Amy! A bit faster, thank you. Up to the top. Is there any more up here? No. Imagine if she gets shot now. Bang! This had better work, Doctor. Now, I've got to destroy those magnetic field generators to free the eye. My vision is impaired! Oh! I cannot see! Um, I cannot see! How do I do this? My vision is impaired! Oh my god! Exterminate! Oh! 
Yeah, I gather that. It's just how do I do it? Uh. I cannot see. Exterminate. My vision is impaired. Exterminate. Dun, 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 dun. I cannot see. Oh. Whoa. I'm trying to go around. My I'm going to... <laughs> I thought I can't go up the ramp on that side. I'm going to go to the other one. I cannot see. So I'm guessing... Whoa! Um, I cannot see. Um, whoa! Is and this one. Yeah, I know. All right, hold your horses. Exterminate! Exterminate! Oh! I cannot see. Amy, Doctor. Geronimo! Geronimo! <laughs> now that's why I call door to door. <laughs> steady, steady. Take it easy. I'm okay. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> Of course we did it, look. This is Kalan as it should be. Ruined. But how did we get here? The eye just spat us back to the point where we entered it. And Earth? Are we going to see the Beatles? It's been a hard oh, day's night. Not being such a square, will you? It's only 10 o'clock. I can look after myself. Ah, oh, Sylvia. So what if I am late? It's not the end of the world. Now, didn't you say something about meeting Ringo Starr? <laughs> da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Oh, congratulations, you've completed the adventure. Why not try one of the other episodes? Alternative, play again to discover new collectibles. Okay, so that was the first of the four episodes. That one was City of the Daleks. So that was about an hour and a half, uh, there or thereabouts. Um, if, if I, I mean, I've been recording for an hour and a half nearly, but then I'll take away the intro bit. So maybe hour, hour and 15 minutes, probably all in all. Um, but that feels like that, that was pretty much a, a two, two part kind of story episode. Um, hopefully when I do the other three, it will be a bit quicker because at the end of the day, basically, that was, um, well, let, let's face it, pretty bad on my part. I was pretty bad at playing it. Um, but also I was still sort of feeling the, the way that the game runs and everything. And, uh, and I, I imagine for simplicity's sakes, they're going to keep it a very similar kind of format for the other ones. I may be wrong, but we'll see with that one. But that is going to do it for my first playthrough of the Doctor Who adventure games. I'm playing it so you don't have to but if you do want to play it I am going to put the link in the video description. So please feel free to check that out and, and of course to check out all of my other content on the channel. I do Doctor Who reviews, I do reactions on the channel, I do all sorts. So thank you for joining me. If you've stuck it through to this far please say a lovely little exterminate for those who didn't make it this far in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like the video of course and until next time my name is Kevin, I am a geek, and you've been watching Kevin the Geek. Goodbye.